Welcome to Quirky Queen's Journals. My name's Kirsten. So I've been making some pockets and tags and this is all my own papers that I've made. Um, so this here is papers I've made with ink. This is the back of paper that I'd made with ink. This has tissue paper and thread attached to um, you know, paper that I'd stenciled on. This is actually paint I took off a gel plate and it's on the back of a Christmas card. And these are some of the labels that I made in the, you know, I was showing you in my mask making for future projects video. So all these are the labels that I've used. This is a gel print um, on both sides. I love this, that's beautiful. Um, this one here, that's a gel print of a lace that I had. I just did it with tissue paper and I've backed it onto card. Um, this has raffia in it. No, sorry, waxed thread in it and it's starting to come out. So I've glued all that down. This one here is ink over it, but this paper's a paper that it, like this that had been underneath when I've been doing artwork. And so all the glues and the ink have kind of behaved together in a way that's, you know, it's, it's really grungy. That's on the back of a painting. This one I think is my favourite. It's very muted, but it's got lots of different paper types. So this is stencil, just repetitively stenciling with paint. Oh, that's a book page on the back. There is something that's not mine. This is tissue paper with thread circles that I'd made. And again, that's in the back of um, a watercolour painting that I did that I wasn't that happy with. So, we're going to make one and I'll show you the papers. These are some here that I've already put onto the back of a painting or... Oh, look at this one. I won't be covering the back of that. That's my grandson. Caden Cole. So, what one will we use? Oh, I feel we should just use Caden Cole, seeing as, seeing as that's the one we, we opened. Now, I've obviously had a bit of a here, and I've put some Mod Podge over it, and it's shown off, so we'll cover that bit with some of the special paper. So this one here uh, is like a grid work of thread. So I need I need to do a mixture of tearing and what side do I like? Do you know what? I'll maybe make it a bottom kind of covering. Let's cut a bit out anyway. What I do for the Tearing as you can't tear the threads, so let's work out how we want this. I think I would cut it this side because I like this and this so. You'll feel the resistance when there's thread. I showed you these in the mask making for future projects video. There. I like these wee threads hanging out as well. I'll maybe do it like that. So, I'll link it up. Now, I'm not going to bother with the sides because I'll trim them and then I'll do the inking of them. Now, I'm sticking this down fully. I think this is like art glitter glue, but it's it cost me £10 on Amazon. I've never used art glitter. I don't know how it compares. But 
being that it's the first glue of this type that I've ever used, I'm quite happy with it. I've not had to stick a pin in it yet. Which is what's always put me off art glitter, that and the price. Do you know, I feel like I want to put just a bit more over here. There. So that will dry clear and we won't see that. I like using um, the precious cards because what I do is I do, this will just stay as a personal tag and pocket and I'll just keep this. Okay, now we need to make a pocket. So, I'm staying very neutral and grungy. I've got these kind of, this is like gesso, stenciled gesso onto the brown paper and then I've put ink over the top. And these are just lots of little bits. But I've been using this, so this is just papers with threads. And I've just used the wallpaper paste to... Um, make them it just gives it nice and muted and then there's this interest do you know i think that could work right there I know this is going to cover up some of what's here, but we know it's there. I'm going to make it a bit narrower. It is, it is more fiddly with the threads in it, but it just it makes it look so... I just love it. Like there's thread in this one here. Oh, I think it works right there. Okay. Then obviously makes a big difference here. I just use black ink because my brown ink ran out really fast and I just use the black ink all the time and I'm that used to it that anything else doesn't seem dark enough to but I know most people prefer the you know the more the more brown tones so I'm just trying to think I think right there so what I'm actually going to do is it's a pocket and I'm going to put the ink along the bottom here. Not the ink, the glue. And then I'm just going to put it up here as well. So I imagine it's going to go higher than that, but I'll add in. See it on the back? Now for all this is book page and tissue paper and that's maybe printer paper quality or something. Because they're layered together and there's wallpaper paste and there's also thread, they're actually really quite sturdy. Now I haven't actually been cutting the corners of these. I haven't rounded them yet but I'm kind of liking the straight look with 
what we're doing because these are rounded. I feel if I rounded them, it'll be too structured and it, the straightness balances these torn pockets. Right, now we need a tag. I've been using a mixture of either these pages, well, cards. Oh, that does go nice, doesn't it? That was unexpected. I didn't expect that to go so well. We're going to have to use it. Because it just goes in. It just works. I'm going to cut this in half. Just trying to think if I want it a bit thinner. I think I do. I forgot to put it back on. I took a centimetre off the side. I've cut the corners and I've inked around it. And I'm going to put an eyelet on. You don't need to put an eyelet on. You could just sew it or you could just glue it. I'm liking this kind of subtle look of hardware with the grungy. There we go. And obviously we can back that later. Or not. Right, now for this here. So let's try this side actually. Well, I need to glue on that side there as well. Well, I think I prefer it at this side. I forgot to glue up the side of the pocket. I tend to do that after so that I know how far up it goes because when I cut the edge off, I don't have, you know, I don't want to waste the glue. Okay, so this needs just trimmed slightly. There's a bit of white there. Oh, I'm going to lose a bit of his writing if I put it there. Right, I'll need to go here. It's coming to this side. And then I have this decorative cutting, which again, you don't need. That's obviously a bit too long. That's probably about right. Now I have this material. I actually got this from Kerry the Crafter in Happy Meal. Oh, that's a good size. It's maybe just, I'll maybe put this side here at the, this side because it's maybe just slightly too narrow. I just free some of the bits. Some materials definitely free easier than others. This one is a pretty easy one. Sometimes. Come on.
these wee bits at the back help when it splits it makes it gives you a nicer finish it's not perfect but it's nicer And then all we need to do is add in a little bit of this. It's probably a tad long. I trouble ah. Uh, struggle to get this through the hole but I find if I kind of fish it through a bit I can grab it that shouldn't have been so hard there we go no, I love this is so grungy and yet it's still quite fresh looking so there we have it lots of grungy pat tags and pockets ready to just put on to a journal page or just use as is, send as happy mail, or just look at, I just want to look at them, I want to make a box full of these, just think they're lovely. So, it's a good way to use up all your own artwork as well. So a lot of these were pieces that, like for example this one, this is the brightest of the lot, this is a piece that I wasn't overly enamoured with and adding some ink on it just helped make it grungy enough and mutes the sort of actual pattern into the background a bit again tissue paper picking up a pattern off the gel plate just put it on it's actually on a kind of brown chipboardy type card and it looks amazing so I will do some painted papers soon as well. I haven't done anything like that in a long time. And I used to do a lot of it. And I've got... Um, I really like it. I've got a lot of stuff. Um, and I've made them in a lot of different ways. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.